congratulations, Solana is back online after being down for nearly two days. Amazing progress, Solana. Amazing. So let's get through the timeline on this amazing achievement by Solana being able to go back online in two days. Only two days. That's amazing. They've only been down for two days. Damn. Amazing blockchain. Solana network stumbles, on-chain trading slows after a forking incident. Some validators are downgrading their software in an attempt to restore activity. Infrastructure operators on the Solana network rushed to write the struggling blockchain early Saturday after a tech issue throttled users' ability to trade crypto, transfer assets, or do anything on-chain. The blockchain started forking which means creating conflicting versions of its transaction history, like Ethereum Classic and Bitcoin Cash. Those are forked from the main Ethereum and the main Bitcoin blockchain, okay? So at around 12.53 New York time, according to Solana's Discord server, shortly after that, the validator's RAM began increasing while the chain's transaction throughput fell off a cliff. Those tech troubles combined to effectively freeze nearly all on-chain activity on the Solana network. By two, the network was processing about 93 transactions per second, well below the rate near 5,000 transactions per second some 15 minutes prior, according to the data site Solana Explorer. So, they still haven't found a culprit, they still don't understand what happened, though validator operators and network engineers success, uh, suspected a bug in the new version of Solana code that had come online hours before. So without a definite bug to squash, some validators began downgrading to the previous version in hopes of reviving Solana's throughput. So in order to get Solana back online, they actually downgraded it. So revert back to the old version, which is amazing. Oh, I can't. I can't believe Solana is this good. Within hours, a supermajority of validators had switched back to the old software in their attempt to restore Solana's operations, but it did little to solve the still unknown problem that was weighing down performance. The effort then turned to a more drastic solution, restarting the chain to the point immediately prior to the forking. Coordinating a restart attempt means that the chain will be offline completely, which is always a last resort. Hey. We got to give credit to where credit's due. At least the developers found a way to make it happen. Okay, Solana, always amazing. So what happened next? Did it work? Solana validators to make a second restart attempt as transaction freeze drags on. It's still unclear what caused the service outage. Amazing, absolutely amazing. So they skipped the entire first attempt and just, you know, um, went on to the second restart attempt because the first attempt was actually failed. Right? It's obvious. By evening New York time, validators running Solana's infrastructure had long since concluded that the best way to write the chain would be to synchronize a restart and fork the chain. A first attempt was abandoned when validators realized they picked the wrong point at which to restart, further lengthening the delay. Wow. Okay. The problems that started as sluggish transaction processing have spiraled into a near complete shutdown of activity on Solana. The chain's block production has ceased and transactions aren't processed or being validated. For users of the chain, it means they can't. Their on-chain crypto assets are unmovable, frozen in place until critical back-end infrastructure comes back online. So if you guys were using the Solana chain for the past uh, one past day, um, it's your funds have been like paused in transaction. Okay, so here's the reason why if uh, any one of you still hasn't caught up with the news yet. The Solana ecosystem were still looking to identify a culprit. One leading theory was that a fat block gunked up the blockchain's mechanics. Oh, I hate it when this happens. It's like when you go into an MRT station and there's just one fat dude crowding in the middle so you can get into the train. This I hate it when it happens, so I totally understand. Notably, the network was moving to an upgraded version shortly before its troubles began. At press time, validators working in congestion with devel developers at Solana Labs were again attempting to restart the chain and had gotten some 70% of total stake behind the move. The network needs an 80% supermajority to proceed. So, what's next? Did it work? Apparently, it did, okay? So here is the timeline from the Solana status on Twitter. A coordinated restart is underway to address an issue during the upgrade from 1.13 to 1.14 that caused block 
finalization took slow significantly. The restart is underway. And finally, approximately 15 minutes ago, the Solana, the Solana community successfully resumed the cluster. Engineers will continue to monitor the network performance as network operators are restored. So based on the Solana Explorer, transactions has restored. And yeah, you can see the ping time is still unstable. Um, it's suddenly spiked. Let's go back to six hours ago. You can see this ping is absolutely crazy okay so it is what uh it caused the entire transaction to be slow the finality to i don't know what happened all right but um hey at least solana's back right who doesn't love solana who doesn't love solana right so you can see the solana price um so far no dips because a lot of people are rooting for solana yeah it is what it is Outages doesn't matter. As long as it's fast, we love it. We're not decentralized. We're not secured. It's fine. If it's fast, it's amazing. All right. So if you guys invest in Solana, good luck. I uh, I, I respect your balls to uh, get involved in such a risky asset. But hey, props to you. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Peace.